You're watching the World Pool Masters on Billiard Club Television, where the greatest players compete for professional pool's most coveted titles. Billiard Club TV is brought to you by Chalk Off, the complete pool table cleaner and the official table cleaner of professional pool. Order yours today at chalkoff.com. And the Billiard Club Pro Shop, where you'll find the greatest deals on pool cues, balls, racks, and a whole lot more. For all your pool and billiard supplies, visit billiardclub.net. Billiard Club TV is your source for championship pool. And now, the World Pool Masters. Welcome to the seaside resort of Egmond Anze on the Netherlands North Sea coast where there's a party atmosphere for a local fisherman's festival. All the fun of the fair and lots of live music for families enjoying a sunny weekend. But when the sun begins to set, the party atmosphere moves indoors to the Hotel Zyderdown, home of the PartyCasino.com Whirlpool Masters, where Raj Humdahl of England is back to defend his title. 16 of the world's leading nine ball pool players from right around the world, nine nations from as far apart as China and the USA, Japan and Hungary. Each match a race to eight racks with alternate breaks. Among the stars, 17-year-old double world champion Wu from Chinese Taipei and snooker superstar Ronnie O'Sullivan. Coming up, Raj Hundal of England faces Hiroshi Takenaka of Japan. Every clash mouth-watering. Rodney Morris of the USA recently won the UPA Pro Tour Championship. Niels Feyen is one of the three local heroes, along with Nick Vandenberg. Steve Davis, a snooker legend. Alex Pagalayan, one of the greats of the game. Imran Majid of England recently won the Italian Open. Lely won in 99 here. Ralph Suke of Germany, a four-time winner. There's a full house for the opening match. And your commentators are Ted Lerner and first, Jim Weich. And as tradition would have it, it is always the defending champion to kick things off here in the Whirlpool Masters. The man that took the pool world by storm last year, winning one of the most prestigious events on the circuit, Raj Hundal from London. What an event he had last year. What a dream. And he wants to relive it. Jim Weich along with Ted Lerner. Ted, welcome to the Com Box. Thanks and, a lot, uh, Jim. I'll tell you this. Uh, now, with Takanaka, you covering a lot of the Asian events, uh, is there anything you can tell me about Takanaka that I may not already know? Well, this is, he said, this is the biggest event that he's ever played in. And it's a bit of a tall order to come in here with this kind of uh, lineup, Jim, to say that he can win the World Pool Masters. But, you know, they were saying that last year about Raj Hundal as well. So anything can happen in pool. Anything can happen. He's just swiped the lag from Raj. It'll be Takanaka to initiate proceedings here. Alternating break format. Best of 15, a race to eight. Takanaka to break. And in an alternating break format, we may look back upon that lag as being vitally important. Rack number one. And Takanaka will be paying very close attention to how these split. As too will Raj Hundal. Got a ball off the break. That's the first order of business. Break cue back. Playing cue in hand. And now he'll survey the situation as we have another look at the break. And there's the cue ball, Jim, right in the middle of the table, which is exactly where you want to leave it. It wasn't really the conventional path that brought it there, though, Ted, <laughs> but uh, the end justify the means. And uh, right away, he's trying to keep the claps down on the defending champion. A long way to come, all the way from Osaka, Japan. And you know that he wants to spend a long time here this year in Holland. Takanaka, not perhaps the biggest name in this tournament. However, he does travel quite a bit in pool. He's been abroad nine times in the last year. Well, Raj is looking at the long cushion for the kick and uh, doesn't have a lot of room between that cushion and the green six you see there. So his other option would obviously to be going 
the side cushion, end cushion, possibly even off the cushion the one is nearest, right where he's showing you with his cue now. But again, that seven that's over on that side of the table could take that natural angle away. Difficult to tell. Oh, judged it well. Now, how's he finished? Well, that was a nice shot, Jim, and not an easy shot on the one here. Raj has so much focus and concentration. He's a very intense player. I'm not too sure Takanaka can get through to enough of this one to make it. I don't think he can. What a, very, sorry, Ted, very close. What I like about Raj is that he's got that swagger. He's an extremely confident young man. Only 23 years old, 24 years old, rather. Doesn't look 24. And he carries himself in a much, like a, a, a much more experienced man. Oh, a total mishit. Boy, did he ever stay over the queue a long time there before he pulled the trigger. He didn't even come close on that. Yeah, that was a sure sign of early jitters from Takanaka. Watch this. Very nervy cue action, but head up off the queue almost instantaneously as he delivered it through the cue ball. And with cue ball in hand, the hit man will be looking to open his account in the Whirlpool Masters. He's overrun it. And this is always something these players do not get a chance to come down and play on this match table. They've got a practice table that they'll try and work out the wrinkles on, but it's never the same. The speed, the adjustments, it's like learning on the job. That's right. Yeah, they both, both these guys were running balls up on the practice table, but it is a different situation under these hot lights. Oh, great recovery shot. I don't know whether this passes into the left side pocket. It certainly goes top left. And it looks like top left is going to be the choice. Another confidence-boosting shot from Raj and into the heart of the pocket. I think it was important here. Ted that Raj stamp his authority on this match from the outset as a defending champion the last thing you want to do is put yourself under pressure well that's right he lost the lag but if he can take care of these four balls he will have broken serve and you know, I mean Jim when, when you're a player coming in playing a defending champion how, like like Takanaka is how, how do you approach a big tournament like this. I mean, obviously, he's going to be on the ropes early here if he loses his first rack. Well, never easy to defend. But for Hundall, I think he's got to send a message here. He can't let Takanaka get away with that miss hit. Every mistake has to be punished. And this is a great start. He's cueing very nicely, switches hands for the nine. Something that, oh, no, the left-hander goes astray. <laughs> you can't attribute that to carelessness, but he should have taken just a little bit more time in this. My goodness. Mark that one down. That could come into play later on. Might be a bit of overconfidence there. Both of these players right now struggling a little, trying to settle in. I don't think Raj will play this one left-handed. The nine deposited, and the hitman takes the opening rack, albeit with a few bumps in the road to the finish line, but it's 1-0, Hundal over Takanaka.
Billiard Club TV is your source for championship pool. This has been a presentation of Billiard Club Television. For more, log on to billiardclub.net.